Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Major. So just about set now, and into the box for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. Leading off tonight for Baltimore. The third base. Swings and misses. And we're underway here in September, the last month of the season. Next offering is down low. I got one ball, one strike. The wind of the pitch. Misses off the plate. And a count two and one. And the right-hander deals. The other way. Calls it in. And there's one away. Here's Luis Guillorme. The shortstop. Luis Guillorme. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. No score just getting started, top of the first. On the ground, Taylor gloves it, whips it to first on the run. Two up, two down. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there, just rolled over it, got the ground ball. Cedric. And here is Cedric Mullins. Check swing of the first pitch, look down to third. And he went around, ruled a swing. A one down. And that clips the inside corner. Down, 0-2. 0-2 two now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Third out, and that ends the frame. We go to the bottom of the first. Stepping up for the Guardians, Chris Taylor. Leading off for the Guardians. Swing and a bouncer. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he'll be safe at first. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Pretty much did the opposite of what you want to do with the pitch on the outside part of the plate like that. Just rolled over, but good hustle down the line and got the infield knock. Nick Castellanos takes a ball here as he stands in now. At the belt and fires. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. Nice job behind the plate there. Kicks and fires. Just missed. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. Looked like he got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. Jared Walsh digs in for the Guardians. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right into the plate. And ball one. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Here's a 1 1. And there's a ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute to finish your pitch. If you leave something out of Slings to second. And that's two. Now it's Franmil Reyes. The right field. First pitch, and he just misses. And that one cutting but missing down low. And a pitch. And another ball appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Two outs. And down on strikes. That's the third out. Inning over.
Back now at Progressive Field. New inning getting started. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Right Swing and a miss. Strike one. The wide to kick the pitch. Now one miss. And downstairs. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And a full count now. I think he was sitting off speed there. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. It's gone over the left field wall. Anthony Santander knocks one out. His 12th of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Trey Mancini now. The first baseman. Trey. That one ripped. Mancini. That's back there. And it bangs off the top of the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage. And he squared it up nicely. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Four for eight in the series so far. And the first offering is not close. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. That one fouled off. The pitch stays alive. Two two now, and a foul ball. He stays alive. Mancini stands at second with no outs. Ground ball right side. The throw to first. One out in second. Here's Adley Rutschman. Batting seven. The catcher number thirty six. Adley. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Castellanos makes the play. Runner tags from third. Rosario with a relay throw. Safe at the play. And they take a two run lead. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough. And that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. On the warning track. And hauls it in. Bottom of the second. Brandon Drury to the plate. Watkins back to work. That's in there. And that is strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Out to short. And it gets by him. Really nice job of two strike hitting and that at that. Pitch was in and off the that plate. So hard to do anything with the man. pitch in that location, oh, but somehow he got the barrel oh, to it and hit man. it well. Pretty amazing. Here's Jose Ramirez. And first offering is fouled off. And that one wrapped foul. Offering misses and the count one and two. Left hand batter waits. That misses the zone and it's two and two. And a pitch in the air, left side. And there's one away. And now it's Austin Hayes. Batting seven. The center fielder, Austin 
Cage. Next pitch has popped up. Urias drifts towards it. Squeezes it. Two down. Oh, that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right the down the middle. Go I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. Go. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Dalton Varsho in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. The one two. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And that is that. Out of the third inning, now the left fielder, Robert Newstrom. Leading off for the Orioles, the left fielder. That's in there. Robert Strike one. Newstrom. And a pitch. That well, misses the zone, pitch. and that's ball one. And a pitch. This to center field. Hayes makes the catch. One up, one down. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Here's the third Number baseman, 29. Ramon Urias. First offering misses badly for ball one. The pitch. Two balls, no strikes, the count. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And it gets down for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Up next, Luis Guillorme, the, the next to hit for the Orioles. Luis. Rounded out his first Luis. time up. And that's in there for strike one. And here it comes. One ball, one strike. Urias, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. Next pitch is inside, and it's two and one. Kicks and deals. In for a strike, and the count is even two and two. Lifted in the air, out to left. Castellanos moving in on this one. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. And now the center fielder, now Cedric back. Mullins. The center fielder, Cedric Mullins. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. Good eye right there. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. High fly ball, right field. Makes the grab on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and now it's Ahmed Rosario. Watkins back to work. Just missed. Trying to bunt his way on. Urias to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Nice job picking out a spot to put the butt down there. You can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Chris Taylor down. And the righty deals. Hey. And a strike in there. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. This one in the air center field. Mullins racing over to make the catch. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. 
the left fielder, number eight, Nick Calcagnano. In there, and it's 0-1. There's a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Swing and a slow roller. Steps on the bag for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. So in now for Cleveland, Jared now Walsh. First baseman. Jared Walsh. Into center. Mullen under it makes the catch in a goal start of the fourth and here is Anthony Santander the right hander back to work Anthony that's inside a wind of the pitch Swing and a miss, and the count one and one. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch misses outside. Now two balls and a strike. Popped up. That gets down for a hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, not in time. He's safe. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Just squibbed it the other way and beat the shift. I'm not sure that's exactly what he was trying to do, but it'll work almost every time with the defense shifted to the pull side. Mancini stands in now and watches strike one. Next one misses, and that is ball one. Fought off foul. And the right hander deals. Chases that one out of the zone. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Now here's the Orioles DH. Ryan Mountcastle. First pitch. Just misses. At the belt and fires. So two balls and no strikes. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And the right-handers 3-1. Foul ball there. Santander over at second, one down. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss there. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Jonathan VR up to hit. Second base. Jonathan Villar. Hammer, base hit. Santander headed for the plate. One run in. Here comes another. Relay throw home, and he's out. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. Bottom of the inning at the plate. Ron Neal Reyes. Pitch. Just on the outside edge. All right, Siggy, trivia time. 
back when this ballpark opened, 1994. One future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but first homer for Cleveland. Give me a hint. Switch hitter. That's all you're getting. Oh, dude. Eddie Murray, no doubt. Bam. 2-2 two, two down. It's softly on the ground, left side. Urias picks it up. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work now behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. To the batter now, Brandon Drury. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Mullins has a beat on it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. And that's a base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. To second, pulls him off the bag. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And it's scored position with two away. Here's the center fielder, Austin Hayes. In the dirt, but kept close. No advance, good job behind the dish. Dalt certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. Next pitch inside, ball two. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Man on second, two down. Just missed. And a 3-1 on the way. Out of line, out towards center. That's a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in. And now just a two-run deficit. Well done. Drives in the run. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice the line man. drive into center field. And play. now it's Dalton Varsho. Varsho. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Mullins makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the left fielder, Robert Here Neustra. The left fielder. And the right hander back to work. Neustra. And takes low for ball one. There's a strike. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Now oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. Yep, it's going to be tough two. on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Next <laughs> offering down in the dirt. Righty delivers. Looked like it was a little bit up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Got him. And now one away. Now it's going to be Ramon Urias. In there for strike one. And that's down it away. Next offering upstairs. And a pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hayes moving under this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive Come sign back. for the him and shot. for his team. Luis. And now Luis Guillorme. 
First pitch not close. And that one fouled off. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. And there's a the ball. Check swing. Went around. Now three and two. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ahmed Rosario. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Mullins settles underneath it. Brings it in. And there's one down. Chris Taylor digs in for the Guardians. The batter, number four. Second baseman, Chris. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The next offering misses. One ball, one strike. Righty to the plate. Bounce to the right. VR collects it. Gets it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Nick Castellanos. He's 0 for 1. First offering misses the mark. Right hander kicks deals. Now this is in the air down the line. Santander under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that ends the inning. Top of the sixth inning and into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. Leading off for the Orioles, the center fielder. And the first pitch Cedric. misses for ball one. Mullins. Inside, just missed. The wide to kick the pitch. And it is two and one. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2 0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. I got 3 1. 3 ball, 1 strike. Left hand batter waits. And it's filled up. 3 2. And a pitch. Got him looking. What a way. Anthony Santander at the plate. He's already homered in this game. Santander. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And a swing and a miss. 0 and 2 now. One ball, two strikes. And a pop-up on the left side of the infield. And puts the squeeze on that. Two away down. Two outs, space is empty. Trey Mancini, the next to hit for the Orioles. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That misses the zone. And one and one. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Bar show to first. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. Back here in Cleveland. Well, we go bottom six. Stepping up for the Guardians. Jared Walsh. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Jared. And that drops in for a strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. And another ball.
Up the middle. That's a hit. And a board on the leadoff single. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Stepping in, Ron Miel Reyes. In there, and it's 0-1. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find it. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Out of here. The season, it's 3-3. Keegan Aiken gets the call from the pen. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now, here is Brandon Drew. Base hit. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now it's Jose Ramirez. First offering, misses the mark. In the air, left field, Neustrup. As this one sized up, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Austin Hayes now at the plate. The center fielder, number 28. Austin Hayes. In the dirt, blocked. Now a throw to first, but back easily. Next pitch downstairs. Two balls, no strikes. Squirts away a little bit, and the runner stays where he is. And the pitch. And there's the strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. He swings and fouls one off. Still only one out here in the inning. And there's two away. Dalton Varsha digs in for the Guardians. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. Has some trouble with it to second, and he's safe. And up next for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. One for two. Good job. Laser. Base hit. Coming home. Here's the throw. But it's offline. It's 4-3. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up. Out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Chris Taylor stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Bounce to the left side. And it goes just foul. Two on, two outs. And a swing and a miss. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out. Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Top of inning number seven. And now here is Ryan Mountcastle. And the first offering is not close. Pitch. Hey. And a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. The pitch. And now the count is even. And 
misses inside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Ripped on a line to center. Hayes makes the grab. And there's one away. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but no reward right there, and just going to have to sit on it. Rutschman up for the third time and takes ball one. Foul ball. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-1. and one. 99 pitches, about to throw his 100th here in the seventh inning. This is where you really start looking for any signs of fatigue. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So they turn things over to the righty, James Karinchek, trying to protect his lead. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And now it's going to be Jonathan VR. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Fouls went off. Two and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. Two out. Robert Neustrom. Now the back. next to hit for the Robert. Orioles. Robert. Next offering is down low. Ball one. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things, makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help, never helped me. Swing and a miss. Two and one now. And he deals. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. Coming on for the Orioles, number 49. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. For the Guardians. Here comes the a pitch. Fielder, Nick. Edge of the zone for a Top strike. One one. On. one one. See the velocity, 97 with that fastball. One one now. And that's through there for a strike. And here it comes. Hit hard on the ground is short. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate. Now Got now the man. top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now here is Jared Walsh. The pitch. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh, Castellanos gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next offering is foul back. And 
And one and two. One and two. Righty delivers. Slapped foul. And the right hander deals. Stays alive. Lined, and that's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Like Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all Ron over. Here. Absolutely smoked that ball. Oh, yeah. And the batter now, Ron Neal Reyes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and fires. That one missed. Belt and fires. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. There's the strike. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Cleveland up a run, looking for more. A swing and a miss. One out. And now Brandon Drury for the fourth time tonight. Brandon Drury. That one ripped left field. Way back there. And it's off the top of the wall. One run across. Now two runs score. And they're up by three. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing. And a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Tanner Scott. And he'll do his best to keep this close. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Jose Ramirez. And the first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Not a swing you want to watch again. And now the lefty got him looking. Now two out. So in now for Cleveland, Austin Hayes. One for three. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Stepping up for the Guardians, Dalton Varsha. And a foul ball. Drury on second. Hayes on at first with two down. The next pitch misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Next offering upstairs. Left hand batter waits. That one down the line and foul ball. Just foul of third. This one high in the air to left center. Mullins racing over to make the catch. Here comes Ryan to parrot in the hill. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning.
here in Cleveland for the top of the eight. Down the third baseman, Ramon Urias. The, Orioles, the pitch. The third baseman. Number 29. That one missing low. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Next one is off the plate. Two and oh. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Swung on, belted. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Gotta love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. Digging in, Luis Guillorme. And that's in there for strike one. Right-hander kicks deals. And now it's even up. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. Some real good life going to the zone on that one. Next pitch has popped up. Taylor makes the grab. Out number two. Two outs, base is empty. Cedric no Mullins will Cedric hit next. Cedric Mullins. First offering misses badly for ball one. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and deals. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. And yeah, there's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Santander in the box now. No balls and a strike. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Riding to the plate. And that just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Well, Next offering misses. And the count is two and two. Two outs. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. That's the third out. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the eighth. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Scott, back to work. A shortstop. And a foul ball. Rosario. And the 1 In the air to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Now with the play, Chris Taylor. The next offering misses. Now 2-0. And, oh. and a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. Round ball, left side. And it gets by him. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second half. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Here's Nicholas Castellanos back there. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. And that's a two-out double. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. A lot of times in today's game, right now fielders back. are able to get First to a baseman. ball that stays in like that, right. but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Oh, 
0-2 oh now. Bounced up the middle. And that's a base hit. Castellanos on his way to the plate. He'll score, and they lead by four. Picks himself up in RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Next to hit, Ron Mil Reyes. Next pitch downstairs. 1-0. and Just missed. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. And a pitch. And there's the strike. And a pitch. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And fouled off. Walsh off the of first with two away. And that's ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Drury in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. And it's even up. The pitch. Good eye right there. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Next offering is foul foul. Two two now. Slider misses outside. Line drive, base hit. One run is in. Reyes coming home. He's also in to score, and it's 9-3. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way, and as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Dean Kremer on the pitch out of the pen here. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. And now, Jose Ramirez. First offering misses the mark. The pitch. Two outs and one in scoring position. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. Man on second, two down. That one to first. Mancini takes it to the bag, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. now at Progressive Field. Now, Trey Mancini. The right-hander back to work. Ball one there. And the 1-0. -oh. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. Swings and misses, and it's two and one. The pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. And he deals. Well, 
it on the ground to the right side. Walsh takes it himself, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Next for the Orioles, Ryan Mountcastle. First pitch, not close. And here it comes. That one's in there, and it's one and one. Smash to the left side, and that's just foul. The pitch. And he chases that one, and two away now. Two outs, bases empty. And now the switch hit and catcher, Adley Rutschman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Rosario gets under it. And that'll do it. The Guardians come in here and finish off a three-game sweep. Final line for our ball game tonight. First for the victorious Cleveland Guardians, nine runners on 15 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Orioles, three runs, five hits. One error, they left five men on base. 